Welcome to the Survivor and Neutral reviews. Let's start with that pretty leather coat. This car's garbage. I mean, it's a nice looking coat. Not really. Yeah, it is. I mean, like, it doesn't even look like leather. It's got, like, fur on the inside. Yeah, have you ever seen it's not what I. It's uh, not what I imagine when people say leather coat. Okay. It's like they had a picture of a lady, in, like, oh, we need art for this car. What do you want? Like, a picture of a lady in a coat, and they're like, here. That's I what we have lying around. We've already paid for it. I can't fathom how putting on a leather coat would not be a fast action. I feel like... Well, I mean, like, if you're, if you're like me and you've got, like, one... Also, how is this leather coat so good? with two hearts? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Like... Uh, it's worth two hearts if you're fighting guys who have claws and shit. I guess, but, like... This worth like not this bullets, weather. Though. So, so you're telling me that like if I put on two leather clothes, that's the equivalent to wearing a bulletproof vest? We could yes. do some tests and find out. <laughs> I believe that's how that works. I'm pretty sure bulletproof vests are just made of two layers of leather. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. There's there's not much it. to say about this card, well, but like it's all right. It doesn't suck. It's but yeah, it's not awful. It's but like I wouldn't play in almost any of the red ones. I have access to cards other than Core Set Four. Yeah. Like maybe if your character had three yeah, hearts for some uh, reason, yeah, like Charlie Kane's going to. It's and a lot you, better if you're not red characters. Yeah. 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 Most of them are pretty sturdy. Even then, you'd probably rather just play Bulletproof Fest. Yeah. Like if or you, like if you, Allies. If you, you have the damage. option to play like zero costed red cards, mm -hmm. then this card is not bad. Maybe you just replace it with Best when you have. I think there's uh, generally. For it, but no, no, I think there's better zero cost red cards for sure. No, no, but like, I mean, if you're playing a character who has like really low health and maybe you take an early physical trauma. Maybe. Maybe. I think, I think this card, I think this card has, has a home. I'm just not sure what it is. Me too, I just think it's in the dumpster. Okay. Uh, scavenging. One resource commits for a book. After you successfully investigate by two or more exhaust scavenging, choose an item card in your discard pile and add it to your hand. There is a red archetype that is built around this card. This is the link pin. To it's the, like uh, the, the card that Ash can the linchpin, if you will. Yeah, this is this is like the reason that Ash can Pete is very very high on most people's mm. tier list for investigators, is because you just you throw away your cards for whatever, or to like Reddy Duke, and then you just pick get them back them, up. Yeah, you just get them back. It's you like you literally play fetch with Duke. <laughs> you throw your stick, he investigates it, and you're like, good but boy. But he like bites someone while he's over there. <laughs> yeah, or, or like, like next to the garbage, there's like a fishy corpse, and you're like, that looks suspicious. Mm. You're like, that's a deep one corpse. Yeah. Good job, Duke. Yeah. yeah, or you're playing like you're playing all the items you can get that commit for more than one symbol. And... Yeah, the card is the card is strong. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. I mean the card. I mean sometimes it's useless, but like yeah. More often than not, it's just very, very good. Yeah, it's it like, but its highs are high enough that it makes up for the oh, times sure. where it's not. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like a, it's like pickpocketing, and then you get extra cards for playing mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. No, like this it's just, just a little, like a little bit swingier than pickpocketing, and that you get to pick the card that you're drawing, but you also have to have one of those cards in your discard pile. Yeah, and you have to succeed by two or more. Sure, the cards build around. It's a. Uh... Mm -hmm. It's very, very strong, but it's not a card. You yeah, can if you just right put that. it in like a Wendy Adams deck, I mean, like she still also discards stuff, but like she does events more. Yeah, uh, there's enough cards out right now. You really shouldn't be playing scavenging your Wendy Adams deck. No. Yeah. Uh, the card that has main synergy with for the core set though is the baseball bat. Two mm -hmm. resources, one fist. As an action, fight. You get plus two fist for this attack. It deals plus one damage if a skull or squid symbol is revealed. Discard baseball bat after the attack resolves. Two hands. So I think the artwork on this card accurately represents almost every time I've seen Justin use this card because he's flipped a skull or a squid symbol almost yeah. immediately and discarded the card and been like, I don't want to play this game anymore. In spite of that, baseball bat I think is still it's one of the strong. best weapons yeah. in yeah. the game right now. Yeah. Uh, like just this pure stats it gives. Like, yeah, okay, sometimes you're going to use it once and throw it away, but like you do have scavenging to get it back potentially. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just. If you're playing red, you should. If you're playing the cores, you should be playing two of these if you can. If you're playing red, just in general, you should strongly consider it. Of note, uh, as Travis was saying earlier, that Jim Culver is kind of at the bottom of the tier list. Mm -hmm. His ability does not synergize with this because no. it's still treated as a skull symbol, just with a modifier of zero. So it'll still break yes. the, the bat. So can you, you even can't play baseball bat if you're playing? Yeah, because yeah, he's, he's a Dunwich. Yeah, yeah, he's a Dunwich, so he can do okay, like level okay. zero of everything. Okay. So, can play so like, if you're thinking, ooh, yeah. The, yeah, he'll never break his baseball bat. No, he'll break it, and then that's be that. sad about it. He'll be like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I guess I'll <laughs> just play my trumpet. But yeah, it's like it. I think it's fairly balanced with the two hands as well. I wish it was one hand, 
I mean, like, I wish there was also, I imagine there will be a card in the future that will, it'll be one hand slot, but if your other hand is free, you can have a second action with it. And I feel like a baseball, like something like, Some you kind know. of axe. Yes. Oh, is that actually one of them? Maybe. I don't know. No, like, oh, you're, you're just. Axe. So, like, because that's what they yeah, usually like the do, old, right? The old, yeah. ones are, the old ones were always an axe in yeah. the other games. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah I feel like. something and then they do something better if your other hand is currently free. Yeah, but I, I love the flavor of this card, too. It's, it's also sick. a very good card. It's like, good. this card is, like, it's okay, trending mm -hmm. on very good. Mm -hmm. And it's also like one that's very easy for them to upgrade. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can do to make it better without oh, there, making it too There's going to be an upgrade in the in the, the challenge pack for Baseball Bat? I hope so. Oh, man. Well, maybe, maybe we can upgrade Machete. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine a better Machete? It's just going to be like Danny Trejo. So this card's... It just costs like two experience. We got Rabbit's like, Foot. Always get the plus one damage. One cost, uh, any resort, uh, any symbol, which you can actually arguably use this for uh, your second copies of Rabbit's Foot if you have one. As a reaction, after you fail a skill test, exhaust it to draw a card. Yeah. I would consider this card a red staple. Yep. Um, like, not because it's so good that it needs to be in every red deck. It's just always kind of good. It's yeah. it's also and then also like when the thing you don't want to do in this game is fail a skill test. But you will. But you will and this will reward you for it. Unless you're the best. Yeah. Unless you're cheating. In which case you should contact us and come play with us. Yeah. We could use you. Um, uh, like if you if you could ever like if you can just not draw the red token mm -hmm. ever then you know. Like, That's great. Yeah this card's we are. only downside is like it costs your accessory slot which is mm -hmm. like sometimes relevant for red characters. Wendy Adams in particular. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But even then, if you have this out first and you're just like, okay, well, now I'm going to put on my real amulet, the value you got of Rabbit's Foot was probably what caused you to draw your amulet when you did yeah, it. Right? Like, uh, when you're building your red deck, would probably just start with two of this card and, mm -hmm. like, maybe cut them later, but, you know, it's just, it's good. And the one wild symbol is really good for yep. this one, too, because mm -hmm. later in, like, the... It would be really easy for them to slap, like, a foot on this one because it's a rabbit's foot. Yeah. Like, when you're on Act 3 and you're... <laughs> you're working your way to um, finishing it, and you draw a rabbit's foot. You're probably not going to play it then. So that's when the wild symbol yeah. becomes very. I do want to point out how flavorful the wild symbol is, and that it's a rabbit's foot, which is supposed to be good luck yeah. instead of just being like random garbage. Yeah. You shouldn't get too attached to him though, because you're going to throw him away. <laughs> like at the earliest possible. Like, as soon as possible. Yeah. One resource commits a foot uh, as a quick action. Discard Stray Cat. Automatically evade a non-elite enemy at your location. Yeah, it's like, you know, hey, check out this cultist. I bet he'd like to eat some cat. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, cat? I love eating cat. Yeah, I love eating cat. Stray Cat does have a niche, um, but like, as a general rule, like allies for red are just better. Yeah. Yeah. Red gets uh, very evade options allies. in general, or if you like need to evade things, like you should just play green cards or like a green mm -hmm. character. Uh, I yeah. feel like there's a there's a way that you can mm -hmm. easily recur Stray Cat. It'll become better because they're just having a way to always just see like buy buy yeah buy. <laughs> just running around with a bag full of cats. Yeah. No, like, uh, Stray Cat like it does have a niche. It's just like not great. Yeah. Either. Right now, it's, it's not the greatest. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine for course. Yeah. Where you don't have like really great fighting options, and evading yeah. could potentially like, be more just, valuable. It's just it's just not great. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's not it's not as bad as Switchblade. Yeah, that's. Uh... It actually does a thing, mm -hmm. most of the time, unlike Switchblade, which actually does a thing occasionally. That's something more pretty low, Brian. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> actually comparing something to Switchblade, like, this card must be actually Well, like, it's good. real similar. It costs one, it's an asset, it sits in play and takes up one of your slots. <laughs> it doesn't do much. It doesn't do much. Um, if you have not watched our Guardian video, go watch it. You'll hear our general thoughts on these type of cards. Dig deep is uh, spend one resource to either plus one brain or plus one foot. No, I think the only reason that this one is better than the blue one or the yellow one. Remember the point Dark Horse exists. Remember the point I just Which made about comparing exist. things to Switchblade? It doesn't exist in the core set, but there's a card outside of the core set that cares. There's, red car there's a red card outside of the core set that cares if you have exactly no money. Mm -hmm. However, there are better money sinks than this one. So in general, I don't think it's very good. The only comment I have about this card is what the fuck is this <laughs> thing in the art? <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a shuggeth. Have you ever seen a shuggeth before? I'm pretty sure that's not a shuggeth. Oh, yeah, man, that's, so. that's definitely a hundred percent Cthulhu right there. <laughs> what if, uh, like, what is that? I don't know, maybe that's like a hound of Tindalos. Those things. No, are those nope, things. Those so are, there's more. I have a card with a hound of Tindalos on it. Actually, it's from this Norman Withers thing. Oh, I, do you? Yeah, I want to see it. Not a hound of Tindalos for sure. 
Vengeful I mean, Hound that's, that's definitely, from Tind it's got the Tindalos like subtype, so that's definitely what it feels like when you're fighting against the Hound of Tindalos. You're like, no, stop! And yeah. he's like, I'm gonna kill you. Well, no, like it actually when. I've, if the Hound Tindalos is coming at you, like shooting at it, your gun's just not doing anything. You're like, mm -hmm. pray in all the meters. Yeah, like the only time I would mm. see <laughs> that's time... not a Hound of Tindalos, man. Um, the only time yeah. I would see running this is if you're one of the Dunwich people and like you need your brain and foot to be better. Or otherwise, you're Lola Hayes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. And you need more cards like, to put into your deck. Like all yes. the other ones, if you're Lola Hayes, these cards are pretty all right. You want to have one ones that cover each of the skills. You also have to pay X amount or play X amount of each color. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, like, you make a lot of weird choices on that one. All right, now we got ourselves the card Monkey Meat. Man, this card is as su <laughs> sweet art. This is in the rank of best art oh, in the core set. It's like there's a turkey on the floor. And there's like <laughs> these monkeys with wings attacking it. And they're uh, fighting each other to try and get oh, it. Man, it's amazing. Delicious. So five that. resources. Uh, give, uh, <laughs> commits for Brain and Wild. Automatically evade all enemies at your location. Um, we did put... Th this card is a very... Um, is very similar to Dynamite Blast, yeah. another card from the course that we talked about. And we came away from with like a, a generally a very positive, uh, at least a much more positive outlook than when we went, went into the discussion with. Yeah. And this card, it's it's got, again, it's got its niche, but it's just, it's not good. Like when this card it is costs good. a little bit too much. When this card is good, mm -hmm. it's incredible. Oh yeah. Like they're like very good with Dynamite Blast. Because yeah. mm -hmm. you can be like evade all these guys and then try to bait more guys into the room yeah. and then blow them all. We had moments, we've had like, I think, one or two moments when we did Dunwich where that card saved us in the moment. Yeah. But there was also, because it was in my deck, a lot of times where it was just sitting there doing nothing. It does commit for a wild and a brain, mm -hmm. which is good. That's it's, That really is a saving grace yeah. to me. Um, like, I don't think I'd ever play two of this card. No, never, never. But like, in most of my red decks, I wouldn't feel bad about playing one. No, no, you could because play, you could especially play like one. in my initial for the first like half ish yeah. of the scenarios, yeah. how much experience you get. Like this card is, could, it's situationally insane, and yeah. then situationally use it's situationally like one. You could yeah. play it in your current Simple. deck. Simple. I could. It's a tactic. It is. Ta Mark, what's your what's your idea? See this turkey? <laughs> get in there. <laughs> Yeah, I think Mark and I are going to probably just actually shoot them all instead. <laughs> oh, 100%. Like, oh, yeah, but you could shoot them while they're eating the turkey. Yeah. Oh, I could. <laughs> They'd be like, you like that? <laughs> Toss them and just like unload the crowd of <laughs> winged monkeys. Look what I found. Uh, two resources, mm -hmm. commits for two books. Fast, after you fail a skill test by two or less, discover two clues at your location. This card is very good. It's very good. Yep. Get clues without having to pass a test. Yep. You just have to not so, fail horribly. This card feels bad sometimes when you like... Because sometimes you like you pass, pass the test yeah, you like, pass and you're like, oh, <laughs> fuck, I passed. You're like, game. You're supposed yeah. to uh, be difficult. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, like, that, that's sure. That's sure. That might be. Uh, that might be a feels bad moment. But yeah, that's at the like, same time, you still did the thing you were yeah. trying. That's sort of a first world problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it commits it's also it commits problem. for two books, which in a time. I mean, like it then it argues the question of like, why should I commit for two books when I can just fail by two and yeah. then? Um, um, this card, like, it's. Is, it definitely doesn't deserve a slot in every red deck. No, actually, I've But been, it deserves a slot in a lot of them. I would, uh, because Min is yellow and red. Yeah. I've been playing it in Min, and it's been sitting in my hand just rotting. Because Min is too good at getting clues, right? No, she so, doesn't. Her Higher education is too good at getting yeah, clues. That's true. <laughs> um, so, like, it's one of those things that... Let's not put this evil on Min too bad. It's this is, like, fault. more of a thing that's not... It, if you're the support who isn't on just the solo and like the mm -hmm. investigation plan, put this in your deck because then you can just accidentally find yeah. a statue as you crash your Generally for train. us, when we have three people, we usually have one person who's really good at finding monsters, one person who's just really good at getting clues. Those are the two like things you need to be able to do. Yeah, no, and then we have like one other person, parts. and then so. we have one other person who does other <laughs> yeah. things. Who does and other this things, is, and sometimes they're trash. <laughs> this is a really good card for, you know, just supporting I, the other two. I feel like red is the best support color that yeah just like in the way that they can like do things accidentally mm -hmm. right like they can just fuck their way into a <laughs> no good win. situation yeah. yeah i mean like Maybe. it honestly i think the strongest color combination i mean i think the strongest team you could play is like rex zoe and agnes ah, that'd be sick <laughs> like you're just you're the best at everything yeah all Always. right our next one kind of goes in line with look what i found mm -hmm. um is lucky 
which is one fast. This is play actually one. a staple red card. Yeah, fast when you fail a test, get plus two skill value for that test. Your red deck should have two of this in it. Yes. Always. Always. Unless yeah. you if, have if the experienced version. Yeah. <laughs> unless you never fail tests, in which case yeah. again, call, call us. Yeah. Call uh, us. It also, if I would say if you're a done, if you're one of the Dunwich Legacy characters and no one has taken these, put them in your deck yep. because mm -hmm. it doesn't hurt to yeah, have them. This is like Warrior Protection. If, yeah. Yeah. This card is this card is like Warrior Protection. If Warrior Protection was for doing other things. Yeah. No, this is Red Warrior Protection. Yeah. That's. Uh, of note, it actually it works with Look What I Found. Someone confirmed <laughs> it for us when we did it that one night. You can increase your value by two, enough that you're two away from passing, <laughs> and then you can find your clues. Yeah. yeah, it actually does work with that. I yeah. think you might be able to like trigger them both as well. No, I no, think so. you actually have to fail it. Yes, yeah. No, yeah and this lucky. one's like when you would. Yeah. But Lucky's just great. Like, put yeah. it in your decks. If no one's playing it, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. There's not much more to say. Except yeah, it mitigates the madness version. of the game, and, like, we talk. Yeah, we talked a little bit. Yeah, we can't tell you more than, like, minimize what the game can do to you is good. I see Bryn does not know what this next I've card is. Card <laughs> Survival Instinct. Uh, foot. Commits for foot. If the skill test is successful okay. during an evasion attempt, the evading uh, investigator may immediately disengage okay. from each other enemy garbage. engage with him. It's a spoiler. This is garbage. Yeah, it's well, bad. Okay, so, no, no. I think this card is, like, evasion vicious blow. This one, like... However... That almost never comes up as a useful yeah. thing. If this like, this card is here mostly, I think, to solidify red is like the secondary mm -hmm. evasion class behind green. Yeah, but it's just it's yeah, not like good. Yeah, because okay, it could be it could be good. You can disengage from elite enemies. So you can, yeah, like, no, it could be good. Shit. I'll evade him, but also Yog Sotha. That's a good point. That right? is, but I don't think that. I think I, think I don't think that's Yeah, that's Warrior. No, it's, not, it's not a good card by any stretch of the imagination, but it has a purpose. No, you're right. It has a use. These these red cards, I have a bone to pick with them. There's another one I think in Dunwich Legacy that promotes the idea that hey, you're going to be engaged with multiple enemies at the same time. Yeah, so that, we're gonna help you deal with that. That's mm. mostly As a true. red, that'll I'm, never happen to you. I mean, like just in general, that never happens to you unless you're like the unless blue character yeah, with your yeah. unless you're like Mark Herrick with Brother Xavier and like your guard dog and your true grit and your like bulletproof vest yeah. and you're just like slogging and have So like, it says these all these things on it, you. but like this card is yeah. basically just like I understand where it, where the idea comes from. Like yeah. every, the other colors all get one that are very similar to this, except purple because purple's dumb. Mm -hmm. um, no, like green, they green doesn't get good. One thing I noticed actually yeah. is they do a lot of almost cycles, and there's yeah. always one color that's the odd one out. Yeah. Like every color gets like an ally that gives them or a card that gives them plus one to like the stat that they're supposed to care about. Yeah. And then just like one of them doesn't. Does red not get one for this one or? Accurate. What? Come on. Because like green gets cat yeah. bug, yeah, and then like uh, blue gets um, policeman, it's only yeah. four different yellow things. gets like the uh, miskatonic guy, and then uh, the, there's the, the researcher. rosary. Yeah, there's for, a yeah. rosary for purple. Oh, huh, that's crazy! I never noticed that. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. And then there's like the, the cycle of skills, and the purple one's the odd one out. Uh, one resource commits uh, for a brain when an enemy attack. Attacks you, exhaust Aquan and deal one horror to her, deal that enemy's damage to another enemy at your location. I, I've tried to play this card once and it just like never worked out. I even played like, I even paid for the better version of her and it just. Like, it's. I don't regret it. Like, I still don't. In that Charisma build, I still want to have her in the toolbox. Yeah. But it's just. It's yeah. so situational. Uh, a big part of what she does is be worth four horror damage. Yeah. This is also going back to the last one. This is telling yeah. you that Dreamland, there's going to be two enemies at your location. At your location, mm -hmm. and sometimes there will be, but yeah. not often enough yeah. to make these cards that good. Yeah. I mean, like the the problem with that is, like, if there are multiple enemies at your location, then you're just th that's not something that happens. That's you not managing the game state well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, like, the 4 horror is a very nice chunk of yeah, horror. Yeah, I mean, it's just fine, it's though, and an experience, yeah. and it's yeah. just, like... I mean, like, it's synergized... I understand why she has the 4 horror. It's just synergized with her ability. Like, you can still... Yeah. yeah. It, it's also to add, like, a real cost to her ability. Yeah. In that, and or a limited number of uses, rather. I think with the core set, I think she's a fine upgrade just for... Because she's basically, mm -hmm. like, uh, an Elder Sign. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, a, yeah. So it's, yeah, like... No, like I said, like, I don't regret having her in my deck. Yeah. She's just, like... Sometimes not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely.
Please. Close call. Two experience, two resources, fist and foot. Af fast. After you play a non-weakness... After you af play after a non-weakness, non-elite enemy, <laughs> your location is made. <laughs> Shuffle that enemy to the counter deck. Yeah, so... I didn't really know this card existed either. <laughs> Obviously, Brent doesn't look at the red yeah. cards. I don't look at the green I cards. I don't look at the cards that aren't green. Yeah, I don't look- I've never played a green deck, so... This card is actually, like, really good. This card seems yeah, very good. Okay, so, not following in with the line of cards that say non-elite on them, this one actually does seem quite strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It seems it's like, like evasion plus, kind of. Yeah, you, you, evade, you evade an enemy mm -hmm. and he's like, where did he go? I better check somewhere that's not here. It also has a leg up on, um, like, the Disc of Enzima, for example, and that, like, or whatever that one's called. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Disc of Eczema? <laughs> yeah, Eczema, like that skin condition or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but, like, you can play it the same way in Magic, how, like, counter spells are sometimes worse than, like, removal spells. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you can draw this one after, and it's still yeah, useful as opposed, to, as opposed to having to have it when the enemy spawns. Yeah. Um... Also, this guy, this man, this one's got great art. Look at that oh, guy. He's like, oh shit. Good thing I got out of there in time. Yeah. Yeah, that card's great. I'm going to play it in my next red deck. Because, you know. So this card. But not as much as you're going to play this next card. Oh, yeah. this card, yeah. Let's so just get it on screen. How we, how we used to, we were talking about last time, how putting draw a card on cards it's makes good. them better. Makes them better. This That's is that. actually what they did. With Lucky. With yeah. Lucky. It costs you two experience, but it also mm -hmm. says draw a card now. So. Despite, like, you... Lucky is an insane card. Would always play if I can. Mm -hmm. But the biggest upgrade that... Upgrading Lucky... Like, drawing a card isn't actually worth the two experience, I don't think. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing this does for you is you can play these two and someone else on your team can play the two unexperienced ones. We've never done that before, have we? We haven't, but we should. We should. Like, we should. That's an <laughs> excellent point. Like, that's probably the reason to upgrade this as opposed to it just being uh, an experience thing. Like, drawing drawing a card is never a bad thing for something to say. Yeah, but it's not Unless worth it to experience. Well, like, yeah. I guess it could be a bad thing. You could have no cards left and it could kill you. But... Yeah. I, yeah. I think the biggest thing is, like, someone else on your team gets to play two copies yeah. of Lucky, assuming you have two copies of the core set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great point. If you only have one copy of the core set, it means you get to play your second copy of Lucky. Which is, like, almost as good. <laughs> Which is pretty much, yeah. You should still buy a second copy of the course. Like that's that's worth still, it. uh, it's, it's yeah. still plus at like a hundred percent lucky. Yeah, like if or you're at least like, like proxy cards. Maybe. If you're if you're playing, yeah. if you're like buying, like that's actually a question that and that actually would be a great video for us to make mm -hmm. as well. Like if you're buying the core set and just buying the core set to play the game, you're probably fine with just the core set. Yeah, I mean, but like I mean, if you want to start buying the expansions and like play it all, you're you'll have more fun. Because your decks will be more consistent, which will make you win more, which will at least make winning easier, which will make you want to play more. Will to survive. Three resor three experience, four resources, fist in a wild, fast, play only during your turn. Until the end of your turn, you do not reveal chaos tokens for any skill tests you perform. This is, this is a card that also, it's a theme that red shares with green and that like you only see, really see, other than lucky. I guess that's entirely true, but it's a red theme. In that red likes to cheat the game. Mm -hmm. uh, with like, look what I found in Lucky. The game's like, hi, you lose. And you're like, no. Mm -hmm. I get to win instead. Will it survive? It's like, you don't even get to play. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm looking at this card. It costs it so costs much money. Use, but, but like, you're... it's good. No, like, this is another one. Like, when we play on normal, this is not worth the three experience. Yeah. But if you're playing on hard, mm -hmm. or like, if you're a real man and you're playing on the expert... <laughs> Like, if you're a real man and you don't want to win ever? Yeah, no, if you're playing an expert, like, this is a first buy for your red deck. Because yeah. you just get to sit there and like, game, you're, the biggest scaling that you have doesn't get to exist. Like, I need something done, it's happening. This happens, yeah. this happens this turn. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, because I'm looking at it, I'm like, I'm looking at it, like, this seems good, but I've never bought it for any of like, my no, stuff. Just but like, it's that point that you said, like, it's on normal, it's not as big of an issue. Yeah. It costs four money, which is a ton. Uh, the skill, the things are irrelevant because if you're not actually playing this, then what are you doing? Why'd yeah. you pay for it? It's fast, so it doesn't cost you an action. You only play on your turn, so you don't get to do it for the Mythos page, which is pretty fair. You don't want to be too good. It leaves some uh, room to upgrade. It's like a five experience card or something. But it's like, it's until like, the end of the turn, you just, you don't draw tokens. Yeah, you're going to be like, like, I get to punch this guy three times because I'm, I have higher fists than him. I and like, evade these three enemies. This is a card that... I get to that investigate three times. Also, if you're going to play, you, you need to plan out for it. Like, don't play this card and then use your first action to move. Yeah, if you're worried cool. about an enemy being there, just let it attack you one turn. So the yeah. next turn you can just, you know... You know, this card's, uh, this card's cost is high enough that I think you need to, like... 
you need to play around it kind of. Mm -hmm. You need to plan your turnaround as opposed to just like, this card's good whenever I feel like it should be. The art is sick too. It is, it's like this guy. With a bloody mop? Yeah. Yeah. Man, he kills something with a mop. He's a pro. Oh god. <laughs> All right, so we are done with our survivor reviews, but we're also gonna be doing the neutral cards in this video. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna, these ones are gonna go pretty quick. We have the knife, costs one resource, commits for a fist. As an action, fight, you get plus one fist for this attack. As an action, discard the knife, fight, you get plus two, and it deals one extra damage. So you have a nice, consistent, choppy, choppy, and then when you really need to jam it in something, really, skull. Like, you don't really chop things, but it's more like a stabby, stabby dude. Yeah, uh, this, uh, this item is one of one of the better weapons in the core set, and it's better than Switchblade almost every time, mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. No, this card's fine in the, in the core set, but it's, yeah. just, it's just not and good. It, uh, it drops out. Uh, it gets really outclassed quickly. really yeah. quickly. Yeah. Uh, like once you start picking up expansions, there are a lot more cards that are just better than this one. You don't need to play. Yeah, it but look at the art in this one. So yeah, this we got guy, like Rad. We got like hell, right? what? No, he looks like pudgy, and he's already bleeding. Like yeah, he okay, accidentally well, stabbed well, himself yeah. like an idiot. Except his knife doesn't block, right. and then there's like a missing <laughs> poster there that's like kind of detailed for some reason. Yeah. Uh, like, no, like. <laughs> You can see why in the corset yeah, this they... guy's like holding his kidney. You know, mm -hmm. he's like, I need this. He doesn't even look that scared. So that I can stab you. Like, there's clearly something coming to kill him, and he's holding his guts, and he's like, this yeah, it's is because fine. it's because he's dead already. Yeah, uh, you can see why there's four copies of this in the corset because you need this if you're building with just one corset yeah, to round out your deck. Your yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very, it's very solid. Yeah. One thing that this card and the flashlight in the corset do is it very. Because you get so many more copies than this, as opposed to other cards, they very much solidify mm -hmm. yeah. the core concepts of the games when you play. You're like, oh, you know, there's so many flashlights and so many knives. Like, clearly the game wants us to play these because they're important. Yeah, and also of... Um, it's very, it's a very good design choice on their part for new players, even and, if they take up space in my binder. <laughs> and then also, no, them actually, the knife actually committing for one fist is actually super fine for this one. Like on some mm -hmm. other cards where... You have to pay, like, X XP for it. <laughs> oh, some an errata. We'll get to that on the flashlight. Yeah, but yeah, like, it's totally worth... It's not bad to have this one in your yeah. deck at the start for just the fist I icon. Yeah, it does, really? uh, it does the job necessary. And then let's go to uh, the next one, which is very similar, which is the flashlight. And now, you guys... Someone else read this, because I'm going to read this errata. Uh, the flashlight costs two. It commits for, like, a book. Has three supplies on it. Costs one hand slot. And then as an action, you can spend one supply to investigate. Your location gets minus two trap this location. And as, or if it's investigation, as we just learned, if that lowers the trap to zero, it doesn't matter what your chit says, because apparently the difficulty is zero and it can't be below zero. Unless so, it's the auto fail one. Yeah, unless, yeah, unless it's, it's red. And then, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, that's... You lose. <laughs> that's, like, a golden rule for the game. If you draw the red one, you lose. Yeah. Like, and that's nice, how it is. Nice try. Why are you playing, idiot? You shouldn't have drawn this one. Yeah, like, get good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this card, this card's just, it's like the knife. I'm not gonna lie, that really makes yeah. this card a lot better than I was giving you credit for before. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I think, entirely sure how to evaluate it now. I think that applies to everything. Like all the shroud reducing ones, yeah. Yeah, like if you, can reduce, many, but... if you can re reduce a value to zero, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Then you guys are lucky to see like an epiphany in rules. Yeah, no, like, you know, <laughs> every so often you learn something new about the rules and it's like, man, that works in our favor. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen often. No. Yeah, it's, uh fine card yeah. and yeah i'm interested with this new idea they probably shroud a lot of three though with that in mind i'm not gonna lie, i feel a lot this card gets a lot better for uh, scavenger builds especially yeah now you can just reuse it mm -hmm. yeah. yeah all you can throw away for the book like it makes it so like it's an auto almost an auto succeed for shroud to less locations especially if your team isn't so good at, at investigating mm -hmm. yeah yeah, uh, the only thing that's really not good about, or not great about this mm -hmm. card is that it takes up a hand slot, which means yeah. that you often have to discard it to play something else yeah. Yeah. in the future, which even that is not... It's not bad, because I mean, like... The card, the... the card does the thing it's supposed to do. It makes investigating easier. There's not a whole lot that does that in, that isn't yellow. Yeah. It's, it's all right. Um, one thing I do want, one design decision I think I want to play about the flashlight and knife is I think that while they're very, very solid, like, base level cards, they're both fair without being, like, great. Mm -hmm. And with that, but also just, like, not being bad either. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't ever feel bad about filling out my deck with those, or too bad about it at least, if I actually need those effects. Um, I don't think those are cards that Fantasy Play should ever print experience versions of. 
No, oh, I don't think they need them. Like you can't get flashlight. It's much better than like flashlight. I think mean, like it's a flashlight. Like generic costs, knife. Like... It's just like why not just make a new card? This like magical knife or something. I mean, like right? they. I, I think the easiest way if they were going to, it's like they reduce the cost by one and make them fast. Would like, be like they could well, make them better. But I just five experience and it just says investigate take take a clue. Kill a night gaunt. Like, okay, yeah, like they could make them better, but I just, I don't think. They I, I agree, they shouldn't. I think it's a good design no, decision on their yeah. part to just have them be like, these are the, the garbage, like the garbage base, the base based things items. for yeah. both of these yeah. important game concepts. Yeah, when you when you play with them, you will quite quickly realize why they're there. Yeah. All right, next card, Supply Cash. This card's good. You should play two of them in most of your decks, unless you're Jenny Barnes. Yeah, don't uh, then. But every other deck should if play If you're two. playing Jenny Barnes, it's okay to play the experienced one because more money is not terrible so well, we don't have that necessary. one it's a base yeah, experience. This is base one. Cash. yeah it's just like it's um, basically one action do yeah, three, two actions yeah, yeah. yeah get, wait six, one action get do three three yeah three actions, actions. although like three it's almost actions, actions in the game. Mm -hmm. realistically i think i would have it like i mean like we should do a video on how much things cost in this game the mm -hmm. equivalency of actions and like what they're worth and stuff but i think this card's like realistic like plus one action yeah yeah, because the, re mm -hmm. the resource isn't quite worth it. Actually. Yeah, you get one each turn. No. But yeah, like it's worth it's worth slight two resources worth slightly more than one action, but you're also spending a card for this and an action. So, but I mean, like I said, I want to do a separate video on that. This is this card, good card. You play two of it in all your decks. You said maybe your Jane Barnes deck, but it's it's good to play it. This reason they give you four. Do you see? I mean, the reason me? they give you like eight across <laughs> two core sets. Game over, Justin. Just for the hell you doing? There's a chia seed stuck to my hand. I oh. Yeah, a chia seed. Oh, chia seed. Yeah. They say cheesy. I was like, how did you know that was that? All right, so these next ones, oh, yeah, Travis said everything. I, there's nothing else to say. Uh, these next four we're going to talk about together. They're the skills. They're like guts over power, and the other two aren't in the binder, so I don't know what they're oh, talking yeah. about. Perception and manual are, dexterity. Yeah, manual dexterity. Yeah. yeah. So they each commit for two of their respective uh, symbol, and then max one commit per test. If, you, if the test successfully, you should draw a card. Um, these are the best filler in the game. Mm -hmm. um, they're better than a lot of actual cards. Um, and depending on your build, like when you're playing solo, um, the solo meta is a bit, it is drastically different actually than the uh, three player, the multiplayer meta to the point where like, I would say Ash Campete's almost as good as, um, almost as good as Rex mm -hmm. for solo player. Uh, and part of that is because of these cards, and they're just, they're just great. They yeah. cost nothing. Yeah. They're yeah. plus two to a test. Yeah, you are, like always, always They replace themselves play. if it's so successful. I mean, like, you have a very small opportunity cost. If you fail the test, mm -hmm. you don't get anything back. Yeah. yeah. But, like, you know, as long as you succeed, they, they cost nothing. They're just air. Yeah. They're air yeah. in the deck. Always want to play the one that corresponds to what your guys are good at. Because oftentimes you're going to be the one who has to do the hard thing. It depends. That involves that. Like fist, foot, and brain, you always want if that's what your guy's good at. Book Mark, is I wouldn't not play it. Like, book might. No, I would always play book because if you're playing yellow, you should be playing Rex. And his right. ability only triggers if you get two or more. Um, brain, you should always be playing just because of all of. Uh, if you're purple, brain, you should always play because. All their things yeah. need brain. Yeah, I think if you're for playing punch, you should... else, you should always play brain as well, though, because the, so oh, yeah. many, so many of the yeah. the mythos cards tell you. I was gonna say rights. you shouldn't ever have any guts left in your binder, but we do, and I feel kind of bad about that. Yeah, it's because I'm not <laughs> playing them because I've got four natively, and like yeah. yeah. Well, like, I'd argue then, why, like yeah, that's, like that's why even like something like uh, depending on your foot, mm -hmm. even a one of of manual dexterity yeah. is good just for mm -hmm. the things that can show up. Yeah, they're just very good cards, and if your men run them all. Yeah, Play, uh, anyway, never stop. Like, oh, yeah. Again, putting draw a card on a card. card makes it okay. Even can No matter how bad card. it is. Yeah. 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 And these cards do something real. Yeah. Um, like, for punch, I'm not playing the punch one in Mark Harrigan, I don't think, because he has five. Well, you're punch. too good. Yeah, you're too good at punching. Yeah. Like, you yeah. only need to be so There good. are obviously exceptions to the rule. But in general, but you should be. In general, you should play the one you're good at. Hmm. And if you have access to it, the one you're worst at. Yeah. And, like, probably bring yeah. Like, it, it matters, it depends more as you, again, this is another set of cards that scale up the more players you have. Um, mm -hmm. If you have four players, then playing all of them is less important because everyone's going to be really good at something. When you're playing by yourself, you need to be good at everything. It's more important yeah. to be good at everything, yeah. of course. Um, but, like, with our three players, we don't have as many of them in our decks as we probably should. 
Um, part of that's because we're playing pet cards. Yes. And cards we think are fun. We also like to test new things out. Yeah. But, and um, I mean, like, also, also the more cards you get, the worse that these get. Yeah, and we and we also like on the same line, like when mm -hmm. you learn when you learn the game and the decks you like to play, you mm -hmm. understand. Like I like Travis knows he doesn't need those overpowers. Yeah. Right. But especially if you're playing with just core, those cards are clutch. And then there is the super version of them. Well, Unexpected curse. It doesn't draw, it doesn't draw a card. Yeah. But, it, but at the sucks. cost of it being wild. There should actually yeah. be none your binder always. I thought this was a dog on the right. It's not. But it doesn't look like it is. Yo, you're telling me that's not a dog. <laughs> I thought it was a dog. Excuse me, I'd like yeah, to have a copy uh... of this card and look at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this card's like uh, the... It's such a fair and well-designed exchange of not drawing a card versus gaining two resources. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, two wild, uh, two yeah, wild two, symbols. Two wild symbols is great. Anytime a card has a wild symbol on it, it's something you're thinking about. Like, do I commit this? Man, it yeah. for all kinds I'm not, of okay, so Anytime something's, something's tough. Going back to the art on this card, yeah. this is like simultaneously <laughs> awful art, but also amazing. Yes. Like the dog or whatever the hell that is. <laughs> <laughs> just it looks like there's no definite it's not it doesn't look bad but there's no definition to it yeah and like you got this kid who's just like a kid but he's very well dressed for some reason you got this just like little short sword it's because of the 20s yeah but like looking at the art like it's not good art but like in uh in conjunction with what the card does it's amazing it's this kid standing up to some kind of monster and he's like i'm gonna kill you yeah. the lighting's incredible too in that especially card. with the flare text sometimes the most selfless acts can come from the strangest places so actually the dog is being courageous and killing this <laughs> kid that's what's really <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah this card's great um young solo's like you gotta go get this kid for me and he's oh, like man. there there should be <laughs> he's killing all my stuff if he's a player money. isn't running two of these in their decks ask them why not and uh, if they don't usually, answer... Usually the answer is because if they you only have out. so many of yeah. them. Tell them to go buy their own core set. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we got two more neutral cards. Mm -hmm. And uh, as Travis was saying earlier, these I are cards I think these ones are criminally can... underplayed. Yes, and they're very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Bulletproof Vest, they're two. boring. Which is uh, two and three experience. Fist in a Wild, which is very good because yeah. it's essentially an overpower without draw a card. Yeah. And uh, Commit, I mean, not Commit, uh, Wear It for four extra health. Really just... Oh, we can talk about this one and the next one at the same time. Sure. They're I'm, very similar. I'm going to uh, put an Elder Sign Amulet up and just don't yeah. forget about the other one. Uh, the Elder Sign Amulet, like, it commits for Brain and a, and a Wild, yeah, and then it provides four Brain. brain. It takes up your necklace slot. Yeah. Uh, the Amulet's, like, a little bit better in that, like, Brain protection comes at premium in this game, yep. but, like, it's also a little bit worse because mm -hmm. there's my, many more cards that take up your accessory slot as opposed yes. to your chest armor slot. Um... These are, again, cards that go up in value the higher the difficulty you're playing on. Uh, we play a lot of subpar cards on our deck because, like I mentioned earlier, they're fun. And we want to try them out. Whereas these are just, they're very consistent. They always do the same thing. They're always good. My advice is if you're playing solo and you're playing Roland, put the Elder Sign Amulet in your deck. It essentially will make you Unreal. unstoppable. Yeah, I know it sounds unstoppable. It makes you, like... Not just dead to some things, so yeah. and that's pretty good. <laughs> so, like, these are just good cards that I imagine are more, as Travis said, underplayed because they're they they're don't boring. do anything cool. They're not cool. They're not flashy. Yeah. They don't even have any game text. They're just there. They're just extra health and extra brains. But and I mean, like, that's at the end of the day what you need to win some series. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's the end of our core set reviews. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll do uh, Dunwich Legacy and then we'll do like Adventure Packs. Three hours. Yeah, it took a while. But we talked a lot and it was Long all good. Least expected. Yeah. So thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, consider subscribing. You know the drill. Bye.